Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Suraj and I am a data engineer with over 3 years of experience into the same field. If you are new here, this channel is all about data engineering, data analyst and for those who are just beginning into data. In this video, we will be discussing more about Python, what to learn in Python, its libraries and functions, whatever things are required for uh, data engineering. <music> Now speaking from uh, my personal experience of over 3 plus years in data engineering, uh, be it in my previous organization Wipro or now in Adidas, Python has been my uh, go-to language. It's just because of its compatibility with Spark to become PySpark uh, which can be used with huge data sets to perform the ETL operations which is a huge uh, part of work for uh, the data engineers nowadays. But what really sets Python apart from the other languages as compared to R and Scala is uh, its easiness to learn and adopt. I mean, uh, when you go for languages like Scala and R, you'll have to spend time in learning the syntax features of languages and all. Meanwhile, while well, if you have adopted learning Python, then you can easily uh, focus on writing the code. The uh, syntax are very easy as compared to Scala and Python. And parallelly, you can work on complex data problems that will help you grow into uh, your data engineering uh, journey. Python's community as compared to other languages is also massive which means you'll be always getting support for whatsoever problem you are facing and the tools and libraries which Python has has always been helping uh, the data engineers a lot. Now let's talk about the core Python concepts and fundamentals which are required for data engineering. So the first thing is data types and structures. Understanding Python's core data types and structures like list, tuple, sets and dictionaries is crucial and these structures help you organize and manage data in memory. Uh, making it easy to store, retrieve and manipulate the information. For instance, dictionaries are great uh, for working uh, with key value pairs which you can encounter frequently uh, when dealing with JSON or NoSQL databases. Now the second thing is uh, control flow. If else conditions then loops and while statements allow you to control how your code executes. This is especially useful in ETL, extract, transform and load. Uh, pipelines where data needs to be processed conditionally. Imagine looping through thousands of rows in a data set, cleaning and transforming specific uh, columns based on conditions. That's where control flow helps and optimizes your code. Now talking about functions. Uh, writing functions is the key uh, to writing modular and reusable code. Instead of writing the same code over and over, uh, you can refine a function once and reuse it across different parts of your uh, project. For example, you can create a function to uh, clean data by handling uh, missing values or outliers and then apply it various uh, on various data sets as per uh, the requirement. It's all about making your code efficient and uh, maintainable, right? Now the fourth thing is error handling. Uh, error handling is essential for making your data pipeline robust. When working with uh, external data sources like APIs or databases, uh, things can go wrong. Files may be missing, databases may be down or maybe, uh, maybe you get incorrect data from the source. Using Python's try except blocks ensures your pipeline doesn't crash and uh, instead handles issues uh, gratefully or maybe uh, properly as per the requirement or as per the expectations of the organization. Logging the error for debugging while allowing uh, the rest of the pipeline to run smoothly. I mean, uh, if you're getting any issues or any part of your code is not working, then you'll be, you'll be getting error logs on which you can work and other part of your code can easily work uh, even uh, after throwing, throwing that uh, error. Now coming to Python libraries for data engineering, uh, these libraries have been, uh, I mean, discussed in discussed to help you handle large-scale data processing and uh, complex workflows more efficiently. Let's walk through the, uh, some of the most important libraries which are must for data engineers to learn uh, if you are going forward or looking forward to be a proficient uh, data engineer. So the first and uh, foremost is NumPy. NumPy is essential for numerical computing and working with large arrays of data. If you are uh, dealing with large data sets that include mathematical or statistical uh, operations, NumPy speeds up uh, thing with its highly optimized functions. Uh, it also, uh, it's also the backbone of uh, many other libraries like Pandas. So mastering NumPy gives you a strong foundation in data manipulation. So the uh, second library which I found most important to learn is Pandas. Pandas is one of the most widely used libraries in data engineering uh, for a reason. It allows you to easily manipulate, clean and transform structured data, whether you are merging multiple data, uh, data sets, handling missing data or transforming uh, data types. Pandas offers you 
uh, an intuitive way to handle these tasks with an uh, with its data frame structure uh, it's especially useful in etl workflows where uh, you need to process and prepare data uh, before leading, uh, loading it into uh, the database or before pushing it into a model now the third thing is pyspark uh, pyspark is the uh, python api for uh, apache spark which is a distributed computing fra uh, computing framework in data engineering when you are dealing with massive data sets sometimes in uh, in the terabytes or maybe petabytes you can't just use a single machine to process it right in that case pyspark allows you to uh, work on large scale data processing in a distributed way meaning it breaks down task across multiple machines these uh, makes it ideal for building a large detail pipeline that processes and analyzes big data in real time or maybe batch processing uh, top jobs fourth one is uh, sql alchemy SQL Alchemy is a powerful library for connecting uh, Python to databases. In data engineering, you often need to move data from one system to another, right? Uh, in that case, SQL Alchemy helps you easily interact with databases. Whether you are uh, extracting data from a database, transforming it uh, in Python or loading it back into another system, SQL Alchemy offers you an efficient way to manage your database connections, run queries and hand handle the transactions efficiently. So these were some of the concepts and functions libraries which I found useful uh, for a data engineer that is must and you need to be proficient in the things discussed earlier so that you can be a proficient data engineer. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed the video, please do hit like, share and subscribe button uh, for more su uh, such videos and please do comment for any questions and suggestions for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.